Okay. So um, the last speaker today is Daniel Alvarez from Toronto, and he will talk about two-shifted Lagrangian groupoids in Poisson geometry. Are you there? Oh, th there he is. Yes, I'm here. So thank you for the invitation. It is a great pleasure to be here virtually, at least. Uh, so today we are going to see how shifted symplectic geometry allows us to, to explain several constructions of symplectic groupoids and related techniques. So we will see what's the meaning of, or, or rather, how can we integrate quasi Poisson spaces? We will also see a, a, an explanation for the integration of Poisson homogeneous spaces. And finally, uh, I will mention uh, how to construct more general uh, objects of this kind that I'm going to call two shifted Lagrangian group points. So let's let me let me begin with this with a motivation construction of new symplectic manifolds out of all ones is reduction, right? If you have a Hamiltonian G space and a conjoint orbit, we can produce this fiber product. And this is symplectic uh, modulo the action of G, right? So there are several variants of this construction, right? That can be all put together in the language of Dirac geometry. So in this, we can generalize this situation to, to the following. So we have a, a Dirac manifold, which is the target of our moment maps. And our moment maps are now what is called strong Dirac morphisms. Um, in this context, these two forms need not be closed or non-degenerate, but, but still the result of this uh, construction is symplectic somehow. So the output again is the fiber products of this uh, of these two moment maps, and this is symplectic modulo the action of L. And so it, it turns out that in, in this situation, L acts on both M and M prime. So there is a diagonal action of L on this fiber product. And depending on, on the choice of, of the target, we get many interesting constructions of symplectic manifolds. For example, if PL is a, is a Poisson group, we, we get a Lou Weinstein reduction. Uh, we can uh, use a, a general Poisson manifold as our target. And, the, and, the, and in this case, we get a reduction by symplectic group with action. We can also use so so-called uh, Cartan Dirac structure as, a, as our target. And in that case, what we get is quasi Hamiltonian reduction. So more generally, we can use um, any Dirac manifold as our target. And in this case, what, what's acting on M and M prime is what is called a quasi-symplectic or pre-symplectic group. So how, how can we uh, adapt this idea to symplectic group points, right? This is, uh, well, it turns out that it, it is rel relatively straightforward. We can put the adjective multiplicative behind all the methods that I mentioned. So we can use now, uh, we can now talk about uh, Hamiltonian G spaces in which its source is not is, is not only a symplectic manifold, but it is all but it is also a group with. Or more precisely, it is a symplectic group with. There's also uh, 
the Poisson version of this, which, it, uh, which uh, the target of our moment maps is, is uh, Poisson group. There is also a, uh, another version of this instruction, which is given by quasi Hamilton, multiplicative quasi Hamiltonian reduction, which again is, is a multiplicative version of, of the usual quasi Hamilton reduction. And in principle, there are more methods of the reduction in which our, our moment maps can have targets in more general objects, such as double symplectic groupoids, but there are very few examples of that. So I will just focus on, on the first family. And now there are some constructions of symplectic groupoids that are quite ingenious, but do not quite fit right into any of the previous methods that I mentioned. For example, there is the construction of symplectic group of Poisson homogeneous spaces. Uh, there are also more elaborate uh, descriptions of symplectic group points, which is, for example, this family, configuration symplectic group points of flags. Uh, so it, it turns out that um, if, if, we, if we use the um, language of shift the symplectic geometry, all, all these constructions can be explained as cases of a single theorem. Um, so we have to extend our concept of moment map to accommodate these ad hoc examples that we mentioned and also all the classical uh, methods that I discussed previously. So the, the concept that we are going to use is that of two shifted Lagrangian structure on a Lie group with morphism. Now let me tell you what, the, what that is. So basically the setting is the following. We have a Lie group with, we have its nerve, and then we have the, the bot schulman double complex associated to this simplicial manifold. Now we are going to define a name shifted and form is a, a collection of, or more, it is an element of degree M plus N in the total complex uh, in which all the components are forms of degree higher or equal than, than N, right? Uh, well, an name shifted and form is closed if, it is closed with respect to this total differential. Now we are going to define the infinitesimal form of those and shift. We are just we only care about uh, n shifted two forms in this talk. It's infinitesimal object is defined by this mapping, which is the classical IM2 form of a multiplicative uh, class two form. And in shift two, what we have is this more complicated pairing. And it turns out that these, these pairings can, can be seen as maps from this object which is called the tangent complex of the Lie group, group with, to this other object, which is its dual. But in, this, in the first case, this dual is, is being shifted by one. And in the second case, this uh, dual tangent complex is shifted by two. Uh, so, so this is what we have when we have, when we, are given a closed and shifted two form. But now what's the meaning of being symplectic in this context? Well, a, a closed and shifted two form is symplectic if, the, if this uh, morphism of complexes that we saw before induces an isomorphism in homology. So this is just a notation, an abbreviation for this 
of the objects that uh, we saw in the previous slide, right? We're going to call calligraphic T, the tangent complex, and then it's dual. And then we put this N that that uh, represents the shift that we that we are considering. So depending on the choice of N, we have several interesting objects. If what we have are uh, the, the a zero shifted symplectic groupoids, which are foliation groupoids that are transversely symplectic. Yes, if, if the shift is one, what we have is the notion of quasi symplectic or pre symplectic group. Uh, let me just comment that the meaning of the non degeneracy condition in for pre symplectic groupers was also explained by the lawyer of this independently. But in this talk, we are going to be focused on two shifted symplectic groupers. Right, in the, and in this case, we have what uh, this the symplectic condition implies that the anchor has to be subjective. Um, so actually, our, our targets are going to be Lie groups for the most part of the talk. Are we going to? This is our main family of examples of two shifted symplectic groups. If we, if we have a Lie group with a quadratic Lie algebra, there is a very nice description, description of, of a two-shifted symplectic two-form associated to it, which is given by this form. So in this case, well, this is the Cartan three form, and this term is the is a leading term of the two-shifted symplectic form. Then the non-degeneracy of the structure is, con is controlled by this omega-2 that lives on, on the product of the group with itself. Uh, right, so in this case, the, the, the infinitesimal two-form associated to, the, to this, to shift the symplectic two-form is just a pairing in the quadratic Lyage. Um, so now that we have this no notion, this is these objects are going to be the targets for our moment maps, and let's see what what our moments map what our moment maps are in this situation. So first of all, um, yeah, K, K K always denotes the uh, a Lie group, and this K bullet is its nerve. So we have when we have a Lie group with morphism, we can extend it to a morphism of the nerves, and then we say that uh, an isotropic structure on on, on, a, on a Lie group with morphism Daniel, Daniel, um, we don't hear you anymore. So maybe give us like. So uh, the connection broke down, but <laughs> we'll we'll restart the system uh, and make Daniel appear again. <laughs>
Estoy reiniciando el router, Sergio. Estoy reiniciando el internet ahora, de verdad. Detalles. Hemos conseguido estar pobres. Sí. De manera alucinante, ¿eh? porque sí. hemos llegado hasta aquí. <risa> el miércoles pasado no sabíamos qué íbamos a hacer. Bueno, no sé. Malabares o. Vale, estoy intentando conocerlo. ¿Qué estudió la pelota de Malabar? Pues no. Podríamos ahí hacer un. Con los micros, con los micros. La sesión de pinchazo. Bueno, el YouTube es lo, lo menos grave. Si podemos poner el zoom. Sí. Sí. Hi, Daniel. Eh, okay. ¿Qué es la construcción cuando digo la validad? Daniel? Ah, yes. Uh, we lost you like. Um, I don't know, five minutes ago. So, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, the, the internet broke down here, so, so I'm, I'm very sorry for this, but if you could just like... Uh, Go back to the isotropic structures, please. Restart where you were five minutes ago, that would be great. Danny, are you there? Yes. Okay, so uh, we lost you about five minutes ago when you were talking about isotropic structures. So if you can go back there. Now, apparently, okay. yeah, we have you on again. Sorry about that. Okay, l l let me try to... Okay. So uh, I was discussing... Uh, isotropic structures, right? You said that an isotropic structure on, on a Lie group with morphism is given by a, by a primitive of the pullback of the symplectic form along the group with morphism. And, and the meaning of an, an isotropic structure is Lagrangian if it satisfies a certain complicated non-degeneracy equation condition rather that in the case that is relevant for us when the target is a Lie group is, is, a, is a Lie group sorry is, is, is simpler to describe so in the case that's relevant for us um, a two shift Lagrangian group with target a Lie group is given by a, a, an isotropic structure so we have a, a three form, a close three form on the base, a, a two form on, on the space of arrows that satisfy this equation, which is the isotropic equation. 
And then uh, the non-degeneracy condition means that the, the Lie algebra, algebra morphism induced by, by the group with morphism together with the anchor and the contraction defined by the two form embed the Lie algebra of X1 uh, as a direct structure in this current algebra, which is the canonical current algebra on the base twisted by the three form, and we sum it with, with K, with the Lie algebra, the Lie group. So infinitesimally, uh, two shifted Lagrangian groups are Lagrangian, are a direct structures in a certain current algebra. So the first examples are uh, quasi symplectic groups, which are given by trivial target. And, and another in, in, in important family of examples is given by Lagrangians of groups. Okay. In this case, the isotropic structure is given by the zero form. So why do we care about these objects? Turns out that symplectic reduction is given by um, intersection of Lagrangians. And by intersection, we mean fiber products. Um, so first of all, a classical symplectic reduction corresponds to intersection of one shift of the branches. Um, classical Hamiltonian G spaces correspond to one shift to Lagrangians in, 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 in the symplectic group of integrating uh, the KKS uh, Poisson structure on the, on the dual of the algebra. Uh, and uh, analogously, quasi Hamiltonian G spaces are one shift to Lagrangian group points which target the AMM group points. Uh, right, and, and, and we can take uh, any quasi-symplectic group as our, as our target. And, and then we have the corresponding uh, notion of uh, sorry, we, and we have the, the analog results, right? One shift, oh, one shift to Lagrangian uh, group points intersect to something which is zero-symplectic, meaning that we have what we get is a foliation group, with, which is transversely symplectic. So, so, but in the case that's relevant for us, we are going to do, uh, well, we're going to perform intersections of two shifted Lagrangians. Now our target is um, a Lie group equipped with a two shifted symplectic form. And we have two uh, moment maps, which, as we said, are two shift Lagrangians. Now, the fiber product equipped with this uh, form is like a symplectic group. Right. And the issues of this, right? Since we are in this most category, we have to take transverse uh, moment maps, right? And if these moment maps are not transverse, we can consider instead the so-called homotopy product of this moment, of this moment, and that will about reduction for symplectic groups are special cases of this principle. So this is this is Daniel's connection now. <laughs> um, Daniel, do you hear us? Do 
David. <laughs> okay, so this is this is Daniel's connection. So the Zoom here is working, but but Daniel is not online on Zoom anymore. So I'm I'm very sorry for this. So sorry, can you? Yes, now we hear you. I think I think you were okay. gone. Uh, <laughs> okay. At what point? Uh, just just like two minutes ago, but I think this time it was your your connection that broke down. Okay. So okay, we 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 were there. It was here. Or? Yeah. So as I was saying, this is we can. Uh, this is the most uh, general principle that we can use to construct. Uh, uh, symplectic group with bar reduction. You have to intersect two shifted Lagrangians in a certain two shifted symplectic group. In usually, this the target is going to be a Lie group, uh, uh, equipped with its with a two shifted symplectic form that that we discussed previously. As, as I said, this the target could be also uh, another thing. It could be, a, for example, a double symplectic group point. But since there are no examples of that, almost no examples, we, we, we're going to, going to just talk about this situation in which the target is a Lie group. Um, so yeah. So first of all, how to how can we view multiplicative moment maps uh, in this framework? Right. Uh, well, it, it it turns out, as I said, that all the construction of, of symplectic and quasi-symplectic groupoids by reduction that we described before are special cases of this result. So, for example, if we have a, a Poisson action of a Poisson group on a Poisson manifold, and this manifold is integrable. Then we can we can we can lift the action on the base to the to the symplectic groupoid, and this and the symplectic groupoid, uh, if if it is so simply connected, comes with a moment map with targeted dual Poisson group. And under some uh, strong conditions, we can hook up a two shift Lagrangian groupoid in this situation. It turns out that using the symplectic groupoid sigma of the Poisson manifold and, and the action groupoid, we can produce a, a new groupoid, which is two shift Lagrangian with target uh, the, the Dreamfeld double of the Poisson group. And this was basically done by a long time ago, and well, it, it turns out that, that in this situation, uh, sigma acts on on G by means of of the moment map and using the dressing action, and G acts on sigma M, and these actions are compatible in the sense that they they define a match pair of Lie group points. And in that situation, we can cook up. A new Lie group, a newly group with, which as a manifold is just a product of sigma m with g over over m. And in this case, the moment map is given by by this formula, which is just including the the, the moment map lifted uh, the moment map of the lifted action to symplectic group with, and this projection. Okay. There's also the notion of quasi Hamiltonian group with introduced by Liebler and Sudera. And in that case, what we ha what they have is a uh, quasi-Hamiltonian G space, which is also Lie group with, and, it, and it's equipped with a two form, which is, well, not, not multiplicative, but, but it is it satisfies an equation that we can now interpret as being isotropic. But the point is that using the, the integration one of the the one of the one of these objects, we can cook up a, a two shift Lagrangian group by the recipe by taking instead of 
this complicated construction, just a semi-direct product. Um, but yeah, this this is just a relation with with classical moment maps. So other examples of Pichic Lagrangian groups can be can be can be, can be produced by integrating Dirac structures, right? So it turns out that, right, as, as expected, we can take any Dirac structure inside this current algebra, which is the product of a quadratic Lie algebra and, a, and an exact uh, current algebra. And we can integrate that to, to a two-shift Lagrangian group with target the uh, an, in, an integration of of the Lie algebra. Okay, this is basically an application of the next theorem. So, for, for example, a, a nice application of this is integration of quasi-Poisson DG manifolds. Uh, so if we have a many pair of Lie algebras, uh, there, there is the notion of quasi-Poisson D, DG manifold, which is given basically by a Dirac structure in, in, the, in the product of these current algebras that satisfies some, some complicated equations. Right, and that, that basically means that once we choose a Lagrangian complement for G inside of D, uh, we get a bivector field on M and an action of G on M. Uh, and in that case, by, uh, this bivector field it doesn't have to be Poisson, but it fails to be Poisson in a way controlled by the action of G. Uh, so, in, in one of the most fundamental examples of that is given by uh, Poisson actions of Lie algebras on, on Poisson manifolds, and in this case, this structure was defined previously by by Lu. Uh, just as a Lie algebra, right? The observation that it is a direct structure inside a certain current algebra was made later. So now we can apply this integration result to these quasi Poisson DG manifolds. So if we have a quasi Poisson DG manifold such that its associated direct structure is integrable, we can produce a two shifted Lagrangian group with that has some special properties that remember the fact that this L came from a, uh, from a quasi Poisson manifold. And these conditions are, are, are following. There is no three form. And the derivative of the moment map satisfies this condition. Okay. So this extends the uh, Leblanc severe integration of. Of quasi Poisson spaces, in which the bivector field is G invariant. So, a nice example of this integration was given by, by Enrique, uh, David, and Lou. And this example is, 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 is given by as follows We can consider the, the action of, of G, of the, of the Lie algebra of a Poisson group. On itself by right or left translations. And then this, this, this action is Poisson, so we can cook up the associated Dirac structure, which it turns out to be given by an, by an action Lie algebra, uh, in which the Lie algebra that's, that's acting is the, is the double of the Lie by algebra. And the, and, and the integration turns out to be. Uh, Simple. It is just a pair. Uh, it's just it is just the product of a of the pair group with on G with the dual Poisson group. And what's complicated is is this 
is the associated to form, which is given by this formula. And the moment map is given by this condition. Of course, we are assuming that, right? Um, so we are assuming that, that, that the inclusions, right, of G, G star in the double are integrable by uh, Lie group morphisms, right, from G to the, to the double. But it turns out that that, is, that, that that integration is useful enough because it allows us to integrate uh, uh, what was called affine Dirac structures. So according to the, to the principle that I mentioned before, we can intersect uh, two shift Lagrangians, right? And get a one shift symplectic group. So for instance, we can take this, this object that we have here, this, this file, and we can intersect it with with, a, like, with with any Lagrangian subgroup of D. And what we get is an integration of, of, of a certain Dirac structure, which is which is which is in a which is uh, described by just an action Lie algebra uh, by trivializing the, the current algebra of G. For, for example, if, if L is G star, what we get is, is, is the Lou Weinstein uh, symplectic group with integrating G. But in general, we, we get more things. So for, for, so if uh, so if this integration, if, if sorry, if this Lie algebra is integral by a closed subgroup G, then this GL is more equivalent to an integration of the what of the Poisson homogeneous space G modulo H. So right, so this is this example was about Poisson actions, right? Poisson actions of Poisson groups. But what about uh, quasi-Poisson manifolds? Right? For quasi-Poisson manifolds, first of all, we have uh, a nice operation, which is give, which is the fusion of quasi-Poisson G manifolds. In terms of uh, the associated Dirac structures, this fusion can be explained as a certain fiber product. And it turns out that there is, fu that there is fusion for the corresponding to shift the Lagrangians, right? If these Li's are integrable, they integrate to some to some two shift Lagrangian groupoids, and we can fuse them as well. But just considering uh, the fiber product of of the second factor of, of one of the moment maps with the first factor of the uh, other moment map. And that's that's fusion for two shift Lagrangians. And, and, and the fusion of two shift Lagrangian groupoids integrates the fusion of the corresponding quasi Poisson G manifolds. So, the most ex important examples of quasi Poisson G manifolds are given by representation spaces of surfaces. So, if we, if we have a compact connected oriented surface with non empty boundary, uh, this space of representations is, is a quasi Poisson G manifold. And we can ask ourselves, well, is, is that quasi Poisson manifold uh, integrable according to this principle, right? Uh, well, it turns out that yes, they are all integrable. There is a nice description for, for an integration. Basically, we have to double the surface, meaning that we take two copies of the surface, we glue them uh, along the boundaries, but leaving one one boundary component uh, in in which the marked points live, and using this remaining boundary component, we get a moment map given by the values of the of a representation along these the two arcs of the remaining boundary component. That moment map uh, together together with the Libla is a severa two form on this representation space constitutes constitutes an integration of of the quasi Poisson structure on this representation space. And well, we can fuse surfaces, and the fusion of surfaces corresponds to fusion of quasi Poisson G manifolds. 
and yeah, so the if we want to integrate a fusion of surfaces, we just have to integrate each of the pieces and fuse the integrations. So this is a picture that explains what I said. So this is in this case we have a an annulus with us with a single marked point, and the double is given by this one hole torus. So we're gluing all, 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 the band, all the unmarked boundary components, but we are leaving where an, only one boundary component that, that contains the, the, the marked points. And what's the group structure on this, uh, this object? Well, we can think of these uh, representations of, as flat bundles of the surface, right? Source and target maps are given by restricting uh, a, a, a G bundle to each of the copies of the surface. And multiplication is given by gluing bundles, right? And two, two bundles that, com that coincide on one half of the surface can be glued to a, to a new uh, G bundle on the surface. So we saw that doubling a surface with a single mark point uh, induces a, an integration of a quasi-person manifold, and hence a two shift Lagrangian group. But we can play the same trick when when our surface is equipped with multiple mark points, and then also in that case we get a two shift Lagrangian group. So suppose that we have a a marked surface, which is given by surface with some marked points on, it, on its boundary. So now we can we can glue two copies of the same surface along some arcs, some unmarked arcs in, in, in the boundaries, and we can we can equip the resulting surface with the Leblanc Severa two form. And now. The group of structure is defined as just as before by restricting source of target maps are given by restricting a G bundle to each of the copies. And multiplication is given by gluing the G bundles. The moment map is given by taking a representation to its values along these green arcs that I described here, that are the, uh, the, uh, are the arcs that go from one copy of the surface to the other. And, and the Lagrangian structure is given by, well, as I said, the, the Leblanc Severa two form on, on this space of arrows. And the three form component is given by the pullbacks of the Cartan three form along the values of a representation on, on these blue arcs. So in general, this is not an integration of the quasi structure since we have a non-zero three form in general. Let me just give you an example, an explicit example. So if we have a disk with two marked points, we can double it. Uh, we can glue these two, two, two disks along an interval and produce a, a square. And in that case, the, the two shift Lagrangian structure that we get is given by the Cartan free form on the base, of the, which is given by the representation space associated to, to the disk, the two marked points, and that coincides with G. And the space of arrows is, is given by three copies of G. And we can see that the, the group structure is given by an action group structure given by the action of G cross G on G by left and right translations. And the three form is, sorry, the two form is, is given by this eta one. The moment map is given by this formula. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah that, that's, that's the most, that's the simplest example of, um, of a two shifted. Lagrangian group with associated to a marked surface with multiple base points. 
So it, it turns out that um, in some cases we can modify this to shift the Lagrangian structure a little bit. So in this case, our momentum map has, has a Lie group as a target, but we can extend it somehow by using the source and target maps of the groupoid itself. And we can produce an, a new two-shifted Lagrangian groupoid, which is just slightly different, in which now the target is, is the group, G cross G, cross the pair groupoid on the base. And, and we can, and we just have to take care of the three form in, in a certain way. And, that, and, and this morphism with, with this structure is, is still to shift the Lagrangian, basically because we are multiplying G cross G by with a pair groupoid, which is trivial in from the Morita perspective. So this, this uh, observation is useful because now we can decorate the surface. So let's stay in this case of the disk with two marked points. Uh, so take uh, two Lagrangian subalgebras of this G plus G. So we can produce a, a little algebra, which is just a, the, 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 the pair group point on this direct sum, L1 plus L2. And this, 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 this the algebra acts on this group point, which is the product of G cross G cross the pair group point G. And this action, this natural action, which is, which in, in terms of um, representations, we can interpret it as, a, as the, as the, gauge action associated to the vertices. The, this action has a property that uh, uh, the orbits of the, this action that pass through the unit manifold, well, are, are, give us two shift to Lagrangian group weights. Uh, um, two shift to Lagrangian subgroup weights of this object. This is basically because this action of, of this Lie algebra um, uh, can, I mean this this action can be seen as the anchor uh, map of a certain Dirac structure defined on top of this object. And that's why we have a certain two form which is a potential for the uh, what happened? For the for the three form that we have on the on this space. So using this, so this is a decoration. So the decoration in this context is given by by the orbit of a of a certain Lie, Lie algebra action on the target of a moment map. So we can intercept this decoration with this psi that we had before and, and produce a, a one shifted uh, symplectic group with. And so this is what we have here. And so in a picture, we, what we have is, is the following. We are considering the representations of, of the fundamental group with this surf of the square right which in which have uh, four mark points and we have these two Lie algebras acting on these representations so if we consider this this uh, an orbit of the Lie algebra action on this target group of, and we intersect it with with the with moment map that i defined before what we get is a one shifted symplectic structure. Okay. So let's let's see this in like an example. 
So suppose that, that this quadratic Lie algebra is the double of a Manning trip, and, and suppose that we take another Lagrangian subalgebra of this Manning trip. Then we can cook up this L1 and this L2. Um, uh, there's a typo, right? This is G is supposed to be A plus B. Sorry about that. So we can take uh, uh, this element inside G cross G cross the pair group of G, and we can consider its orbit. So it turns out that, that, that its orbit is given by well, by a certain product of Lie groups that I invented to describe. But what happens is that if we intersect this orbit with the, with the moment map associated to the surface, what we get is again an integration of, of an affine drag structure. So he, here's the orbit uh, of this element under, under this action. It is just A cross B cross the pair pro cross the pair pro, uh, group point on A. So the, the, the picture is, is, is a picture that appears in, in several of Severus papers. So you have a, a square in which we decorate two of the sides with the same group point. And, and in this case, the other sides are not decorated with the same group. But, you know, they are different Lagrangian groups of the target. Okay. And well, let me just mention that there is a more general family of two shift Lagrangian group ways that we can construct. There's a normal form theorem that tells us that two shift Lagrangians in two shift symplectical infinity algebras roughly correspond to, to many pairs. I'm simplifying somehow because in, in, in the general situation, we don't have a uh, current algebra, it's a usual current algebra, but it can it, it is twisted in general. But anyway, we can consider this this slightly uh, simpler problem of integrating a Manning pair, right? So we have a, a direct structure inside a current algebra. So how how can we integrate that object? Well, in the exact case, if it is exact. We already know that L integrates to a quasi symplectic group. So the next case that we can consider is, is the case in which E is transitive. All the examples that we saw uh, are examples in which E is transitive and it is, fact, and, and it is given by this uh, simple description as T plus T star plus G, where G is a quadratic Lie algebra. But, but yeah, but more generally, if, if if we have any transitive current algebra, we can uh, do the following. We can divide this current algebra by T star and, and produce a transitive Lie algebra. And that uh, transitive Lie algebra, if it is integrable, integrates to a two shift Lagrangian group with. Sorry, a two shift symplectic group with. So if we have a Dirac structure inside E, we have this morphism of Lie algebras given by the inclusion and the projection to the quotient. So we can uh, lift this Lie algebra morphism to a Lie group of morphism. And it turns out that we can int also integrate uh, uh, this, this object in the sense of a two shift Lagrangian group. Uh, there, there's a, as I said, there is a two shifted Lagrangian, two shifted symplectic uh, group of structure on the target. And this, and the fact that L sits inside, uh, in, uh, sits inside E as a Dirac structure is captured in the fact that there is a two shifted Lagrangian structure on this group of morphs that we can encode in a, as a multiplicative. Uh, Morphism of a psi. Yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Sorry for the technical problems. 
Other questions? Anton? Hi, that's Anton. Uh, thank you for a nice talk. Um, so I, maybe I got a little bit lost when you were talking about moduli spaces. So do I understand correctly? So you, uh, are you saying all decorated moduli spaces, they uh, integrate and the corresponding uh, groupoids, whatever they are, Poisson, Quasar Poisson, whatever they need to be, are also moduli spaces decorated, uh, some deco decorated moduli spaces. Is it, is it the right statement or how? Uh, no. Uh, okay, good. When I talked about integrations, uh, the, the, the moduli spaces were uh, undecorated. The no, but, un but un undecorated moduli spaces, these are particular examples of decorated moduli spaces, right? Or not? I mean, like, adding more or less decoration is... Is it right? Yeah, I mean, the statement is, yeah, is this one, right? Is the quasi-person structure and the space of representation is integrable by this top? Uh, but yeah, the thing is that if we consider more, more max points, that, uh, then, Yeah, the, the same thing is that this double construction, I, I don't know if we can interpret it as an integration in general mm -hmm. of, of some of, mm -hmm. of quasi-person structure. Oh, okay, so, so, you, so one, one needs to have just one boundary component? Yeah, yeah. one marked point. One marked point. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Any other question? Uh, hi, thanks for the talk. Uh, in the in the very last slide, you were considering this transitive current algebra. I, I want to understand what is the setup. So you have t plus t star plus a quadratic the algebra, but this is uh, it's not twisted along the manifold, right? So it's it's not the adjoint of a principal bundle. It's just a fixed quadratic the algebra. Uh, so ca can you say what what is your little g in in the in the last slide? Uh, yeah. So I, I was just mentioning that we, so the, 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 the examples that we mentioned live inside this this trivial transitive uh, current algebra, right? Which is just t plus t star plus g. So what I said is that in general we can consider any any transitive Lie algebra, and we can uh, perform a similar integration of Dirac structures that live inside. It. Okay. Thanks. Hello. Um, so, in uh, can you hear me? Okay. Yes. So, in uh, in a symplectic groupoid using the non-generality of the symplectic form, the normal bundle of any bisection is like isomorphic to the cotangent bundle of the bisection. But if the form is degenerate, uh, I wonder if one could use the shifted symplectic business to get another correspondence, like if I can see the normal bundle of uh, maximally, maximally isotropic bisection in the shifted symplectic groupoid, um, what would the shifted symplectic groupoid send this object to? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Another question? So let's thank Daniel again. So just remember that we have the social dinner at 9 p.m. at the High Ally. If So it's walking distance from here. So if you want to, to join us, we are leaving uh, from Residencia Estudiantes at uh, 8.40. Okay. Sorry? 
Ah, residencia de estudiantes o high ally. The high ally is is nearby. Yeah, in the website there is a map. It has been a map the whole day here in the breaks. Okay, the, you have one. You have one on the right on the website. And we have. Is it now or is it now? And we have the poster session uh, right now over the next hour. So please join us there.